Hello, this is Invector and welcome to my newest Heart to Fire and 4 video. In today's video, we are going to conquer the world with Brazil. And we are going to complete 5 achievements with Brazil. So the start is the same with uh, industry and uh, we begin our focuses with the uh, political side. And we are going to build a lot of military factories because we are going to be at war pretty soon. We are going to start producing artillery and later on we will produce uh, anti-air as well. With our dockyards we are going to start building uh, submarines but we also need to build some uh, convoys first, then we will build submarines. Let's buy some iron. We have 8 divisions, but we will have 24 before we go to war. Our first focus is done. Let's continue. Because we need to switch ideologies to communist. Let's hire this guy for more political power. Second focus is done. We go to the right side. Because we need the Goncacho focus. Because one of the achievements require that. So we can continue the political side, so we are going to continue through this. Machine tools is done, let's continue with the industry. And let's hire this guy, since this guy gives uh, daily communism support. Our focus is done. We can't continue the left side, the political side, because uh, those focuses require some communism support. So we are going down the radio. It's complete, and we can infiltrate the military. And we can hire the teacup. Let's also get the professional officer corps for more army XP and less cost for the doctrines. And let's, let's start with the revelation now. Now, after this is done, we are going to have a civil war. Let's continue with the industrial uh, technologies. Uh, the problem is we have two research slots, but we are going to have uh, two more. So now we have a civil war. And we need to win this as soon as possible, but it's not as easy as other countries. So what we are going to do is to position our troops to the coast and push from the coast to, uh, toward uh, Rio de Janeiro and uh, Sao Paulo. So I'm going to manually task my divisions to attack the empty provinces. And when we face the enemy divisions, uh, we are going to either try to encircle them or just go around them and get the... Uh, victory points and win the war because we don't really want to fight and defeat them we just want to go around them and they will waste a lot of time and effort uh, to go around us from the basically the amazons from the uh, inner side of the country but the coast has the uh, the speed and also the infrastructure and the and the supply to actually uh, be able to push so this Vitoria city, we need to take it as soon as possible because that's where the supply is. So I'm going to try to take it as soon as possible and then we can push forwards. So this could be difficult for many people. That's why I'm taking my time showing you everything that I'm doing. This is not going to be exactly the same, of course, but uh, it's pretty much the same. So I'm letting them attack me, and then I'll attack them myself. So if we take this province, we have we are going to have uh, two tiles to attack Victoria from. So it's pretty important. And they are using force attack, which is dumb.
our focus is done let's do another one these all give really good bonuses you can do them all but uh, the order that I'm doing is probably the best construction is done construction 2 and as you can see they are really pushing but as, as long as we have our capital, uh, it's gonna be fine. And the more they divert their divisions into our country, uh, the less they have to defend our push, so it's gonna be better for us. All we need is to break this initial defense and it will be really easy to capitulate them. So it looks like we are going to push, yes. As you just saw, we had desperate defense available, which means we have lost 50% of our victory points. But we are going to take Vitoria and yes, we are pushing. Now we have supply and uh, we can push on. doesn't matter if they are defending, I'm just going to walk around them, get uh, with their major victory points and push southward. Of course they are defending their uh, capital. So this division's job is to get the victory points down south and if we can get rid of Generio with these divisions and maybe the other victory points here, we could win the war. So if you fail doing this and they capitulate you instead, just try it again. So it's a good idea to not fight them because they might move out and you can just walk into the empty province and win the civil war. The Brits do this as well when they are defending their ports. If you just let them be, they might move out and you can just take the port while walking in. So we are going to build military factories, switch the war economy. And we can continue with Gongacha Coop. Which is going to get our uh, general also as a leader. This is also required to get the uh, get one of the achievements because it requires going down this route and get the leader and uh, capture. Uh, I think it was Nottingham. I'm not sure. Basically, you need to get uh, United Kingdom. So I'm going to get the research slot first. It's pretty important because we need to tack into planes because air is king in this game. So I'm. Um, changing the division right now we are going to play with 9 uh, 4s again because it's the best I'm not adding too many uh, artilleries now because we, we need to produce them first our focus is done let's continue on yeah we need stability so So the thing is, uh, rushing down to the um, war goals is not a good idea for now, because we need supplied and um, ready divisions to uh, conquer the countries, especially Paraguay and Argentina. So, and we can't really attack Uruguay without taking Argentina first, because it's gonna damage our uh, war score and uh, our stability a lot. So it should be Paraguay and then Argentina. Maybe you can take Bolivia before. But uh, you can take Uruguay first, or before Argentina. So this is a choice. I stick to the the Atheist state because it gives uh, research uh, speed. Since we are going to have a little, uh, we don't have too many research slots, so we need to make the best of them. 
that's why I went with the Atheist State. And we don't really need uh, political power that much with this playthrough. So let's continue down. And soon we are going to get our war goals. So as you can see, I'm tacking into planes. But uh, first and foremost, uh, we should get the industrial focuses, the electronics, uh, the infantry and the artillery uh, researches first. And then start taking into air. Uh, by the way, with the last uh, patch, not with the DLC, I mean the, the patch that came after the DLC, they changed something about the last focus, Ursal or whatever it's called. Uh, it used to give you claims on all of the uh, territory in South uh, America. Now it gives you cores and it gives you cores before you conquer the countries. So I think it gives like 96 cores or something. So it's, it's a really broken focus now. And uh, basically when we take that, uh, the land that we are going to conquer in the South America is just going to be ours. And it's, they're going to be cored already. Which is bonkers to me. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> so <laughs> what I would have done is to allow the country to core the nations that you have conquered. Not core them immediately. And maybe give it like a co uh, cost or something. Maybe like 100 political power per country. Could be good. Yeah, as you can see, it gives us uh, like 98 cores. So <laughs> it's, it's a really broken focus. And we are ready for Paraguay. Let's go. And now you will see the power of line artillery. We don't have air yet. So this is purely infantry and artillery doing work. Yep, knife through butter. By the way, uh, this has taken me a lot of time to actually complete. So if you like the video, actually click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to grow my channel out, so it, it, I would just like appreciate it, you know, if you did that. And Paraguay is done. We annex everything. Thank you. And get prepared for Argentina. Would you like to see me as I'm talking, narrating what I'm doing in these games, uh, like open my webcam? Uh, let me down down in the comments if you like to see something like that. Okay, so we attack Argentina now. Argentina is really tough, but uh, we can take them. So we need to build railroads uh, to connect the uh, supply hubs. So the fortress stability is a big problem. We need to hire the infantry guy. Let's replace the improved artillery. And build more railroads. So what I'm doing in almost all of my conquests is to try to get the most amount of uh, supply that I can get for my troops because the more supply you have, the faster your organization recovers and the more organization maximum you can have. So that's like the uh, most pivotal thing that you can do for your troops is to have maximum amount of uh, supply for them. Supply is everything in this game, as is air. So World War II kicks off and uh, we don't really care what happens in Europe because we have our own conquest to do. We need to take down many nations in uh, the South America until one of them joins either allies or Axis. Let's connect the supply hubs. This happens regularly. You need to check this from time to time. Like, any time that you are struggling to push, 
just check for the supplies and improve your uh, supply situation. All the pop-ups that I get from Europe is actually really distracting and annoying, but uh, what can you do? As you can see, there is always an improvement to be made. Follow Paris. We have our new guns. We have a little encirclement. There we go, pocket closed. And we are pushing really well. Supply wins again. And let's start producing some submarines. We are going to need some submarines. And the best thing about uh, Communist Brazil is that all the land that we conquer is co already cored, so we don't need to worry about uh, any resistance. And we get all the manpower, all the factories, all the resources that they have, everything. As you see, we have 500,000 manpower and 82 factories. And let's get started with uh, Uruguay. As we have taken Argentina, we don't need to suffer the penalties of uh, extra damage to our war uh, support and um, stability, so we can take them on. And we have almost 100 factories now. Uruguay falls. We take everything. And we have 105, 107 factories. And now we take Chile. Now you might ask, wouldn't it be better to wait until they have developed their countries and then conquer them? Maybe, but uh, I prefer to have power early on than wait for my enemies to build up so I can have more power late later on. Because the earlier the power you have, the more you're gonna snowball. So Bolivia is ours now and we have 157 factories. We need to do another focus to get the war goal on Peru, because it's a fascist nation, and now we can take them. So let's just, yeah, Peru joins Axis, and we are at war with Axis now. Which is not, strictly speaking, a bad thing, because Axis doesn't really have anything to fight us with, and they don't have any borders with us. And the best thing is, if we uh, declare a war on uh, America, America is not going to join allies, because we are going to join allies, and they are unable to join a faction that they are at war with, even though any of the other allied nations uh, are going to declare war on uh, America, so uh, it's not a really bad thing. So I'm now making my 1940s uh, fighters. And let's start producing it. We can cut down on other things like artillery to make fighters. And when we have enough air experience, we are going to start producing our cast as well. And let's not forget about the supply situation. Let's make some more divisions. And let's... Uh, and let's design our uh, cast. There we go, start producing them. Yeah, we have an aluminum problem, but uh, we need to just buy it for now. Until we 
conquer United States. So let's take Ecuador. Even though we don't have a peace deal, the land that we conquer is already a core of us. So after Colombia, we are going to take down Venezuela and also start uh, justifying war goals on Panama and the other countries that we don't have uh, a war goal on. We have more divisions. Let's train them. Yeah, we have some war goals on some countries and we don't have war goals on some others. So we need to justify them one by one and build up railroads as we conquer and we take down Venezuela now and they of course join Axis and we now have planes so let's deploy them so as you can see uh, communist Brazil is actually really powerful because we just conquered the South American nations and we have 235 factories now so it's it's really good. Like getting course immediately is so powerful. And before the patch, you would just get uh, claims on these lands, not course. So uh, I was actually uh, halfway into my save when that happened, so I just abandoned it and started f f from scratch. So. As you can see, it's uh, July 1941, and uh, Japan is going to attack the Indochina and then uh, join allies. So I need to declare war on USA before they do that. So that's why I'm attacking USA now, even though I'm not at their borders yet. I'm uh, dissolving my uh, alliance to get invited by the allies. We join allies, and now United States can't join allies. Japan declares war on Dutch East Indies, and at this point, normally USA would join allies, and now they can't. So it's perfect for us. And now we can attack Mexico, and continue our uh, conquest. And uh, because I think uh, Germany hates USA or because USA hates Germany, they never join Axis. So they're not in Axis. That means when we've capitulated them, we are going to get a, a peace deal and we can annex uh, all of USA or a big chunk of it because they're at war with Japan. Japan has no, we've, we've been kicked from the faction, but uh, they'll invite us back. It's, it's a no, no problem. So I've deployed too many divisions on the border, so I can't push. So I pull back uh, two armies. And I can't push again. I wanted to leave this on because like a, a lot of people have problem with the supply mechanic. So if that happens, just pull back some of the divisions and you can fight them again. So this is sometimes how it goes. By the way, uh, there's a bug with uh, Brazil, or maybe it's not a bug, but I don't know. So the problem is there is a focus that uh, changes your uh, capital. And that, when that happens, you need to exit the game and get into the game again, because the game doesn't really recognize uh, where your capital was. And uh, all of the supplies, all of the supply you have everywhere uh, becomes unavailable. It says there is no connection to the capital. It doesn't really understand that your capital has changed. 
and when you exit the game and come back again uh, the game recognizes that uh, your new capital is whatever it, it's it moves to Brazil I think like the Brasilia or something I don't I can't remember but uh, the game that the game recognizes that and um, you can have supply again you will see that when it happens it, it hasn't happened yet so we are really pushing into uh, United States now and uh, they can't really stop us even though it's 1942 because um, I don't know because we are we are uh, we have good air we have good divisions and our supply is not that uh, a big problem Just uh, remember to build up as you conquer the land. It's really important. Like radars, airports, supply, supply hubs as you need them. Los Angeles is ours. And as you can see, we have green air against the United States. But uh, I've uh, identified a problem here. Uh, I don't really have supply. Well, in, in game supply I have, but I don't have equipment for my divisions now. As you can see, I'm uh, under equipped. So I need to stop pushing and wait for equipment to come in. As you can see, we need 50k guns and a lot of artillery and also uh, other supply. And most importantly, we don't have trains. So uh, sometimes this happens. So make sure to uh, produce some trains if you don't have any as you can see i'm not producing any trains and i am uh, 150 in debt in trains i need 150 trains basically so i can push but barely so yeah just having supply is not enough you need to equip your divisions properly We've taken adaptable now, which is great. And uh, America is not really um, fit to fight us now. They're really under equipped. And since they're not in allies, they have nowhere to go. So we are just going to push them into the sea or to the ocean. Let's make some airports. And the western border is complete. Let's push into the eastern side. USA capitulates. And we have 93% of the war score. So the question is, can we annex everything? Yes, we can. Japan gets nothing. And we can join allies again, which is good. And now we can uh, help the allies push into Germany. And they have already taken Italy, which is surprising. And Yugoslavia is in allies too. And they have been pushing actually. And now we can really help them push into Germany. So one of the achievements says we need to be in allies and we need to capitulate Germany and we need to own Brandenburg, which is where Berlin is. And the problem is we don't have enough. And Well, UK has just kicked us from the faction, but <laughs> we can just wait until they just invite us back into the faction. But uh, even then, uh, we are not going to have enough, enough uh, war score to actually uh, get Brandenburg, like annex Brandenburg. So we are not going to get the achievement in this save. And I've tried uh, a couple of times in this save again to get the achievement, but uh, it's it's pretty difficult to get. 
uh, if you are playing uh, communists and uh, you need to conquer other places like United States. So we are pushing into Berlin. We have taken Berlin. Germany falls and we can't take it. So <laughs> nothing to be done. We have 15% of war score, but uh, yeah. And we need a lot of land to take as well, like Peru and uh, Ecuador, uh, Colombia, whatever. So I'm s skipping the peace deal. And uh, we have captured all the land that we wanted actually in uh, Americas, but uh, we couldn't take Germany. So I thought, what the hell, we can just take British occupation zone or whatever and then get our achievement that way. Because if you read the achievement, it doesn't necessarily say you need to capitulate German Reich. It need to just say it just says capitulate Germany. And it also says you need to be in faction with United Kingdom. You, it doesn't say you need to be in allies. So I just said okay, I can just annex everything because we already need to conquer the world. And then I can just uh, make a faction with United Kingdom as my puppet and release Germany and conquer the Germany that way. So that's going to be an easy peasy achievement. And uh, you'll see how it's not that easy. So, so we attack Haiti and uh, they have been guaranteed by United Kingdom and Germany. Because it's not a uh, German occupation zone now. It's actually uh, Germany now. Or German Republic or something. So we have landed in um, United Kingdom. We owned Iceland because uh, Iceland makes a pact with uh, USA and they basically gave their land to USA. So after we have defeated USA, we actually annexed Iceland as well. And now we are pushing into United Kingdom and they don't really have anything on their island. So it's a really easy conquest. And one of our achievements is to get uh, Newcastle or something, I think. Or Hall, I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. We are going to take the world, essentially, so... Yep, it was Hall, so we have our first achievement. And they have capitulated. And all the land goes to Japan for some fucking reason. Why? I have capitulated them. I have conquered their land myself. Why it goes to Japan? This makes no sense to me. I know it's related to the war score or something. But why does Japan get the land? And the, the thing is, I didn't check. But all the supply lines actually end up in the Japanese side. And we don't have... Uh, supply through them, so we are gonna end up without supply in the lands that I've conquered, which is nonsensical. So we have uh, navally invaded France from Britain, and now we are conquering France. Yeah, this is the second time they are getting invaded in the save. First by Germany, and now by us. And there's a the German Republic. Belgium falls. Luxembourg Falls. And France is capitulated. And at the start of the uh, war, there were uh, three allies. Uh, there were three majors in allies. And they were uh, United Kingdom, Germany and France. And we have capitulated two of them. So if we capitulate Germany, the war should be over, right? It should be. Germany falls and the war is not over and because Poland is a major now so we need to take Poland out and we don't have a land connection to Poland so we need to naval invade them there goes our naval invasion so before any other nation becomes a major we need to take out Poland and we are also pushing into um, British Italy and also Yugoslavia. Now we are having supply issues because the supply comes through a strait or something. So, but it's it's not a big problem. We can still push into Poland. They don't really have a big army.
Poland capitulates and the war is not over. Why? Because Turkey and India have become majors. So at this point I was livid. And I was really tired actually. So we need to capitulate Turkey and also India. So how do we get to India? Basically we need to navally invade them probably. Because a land connection isn't possible. So I'm going to navally invade them from Philippines. Uh, and they have navally invaded us uh, from a lot of places. Like southern France and uh, northern Britain. So we need to take those out. And we are pushing into Yugoslavia because we can move into uh, Greece and then into Turkey from this. So Italy falls. And we push into Greece. I think Turkey is not going to be a problem, but uh, India might be. So our naval invasions are launching. We have landed. We need to take a port. We have taken a port. And notice that how I don't have supply right now. There is a big supply issue. And uh, I was wondering why that would be... So I, I don't really know how I don't have supply in this region. So I, I, I couldn't get it. You'll see in a minute. Turkey has capitulated. So now we just need to take India out. And as you can see, I don't have supply. Why? I have no connection to the capital. How I don't have connection to the capital? So this is the, the problem that we have with this DLC. So the focus that I did disconnected me from the capital and I've restarted my game and now I have supply. So <laughs> it's, it's nonsensical. Like, couldn't they have just tested this before they pushed this? Like, I'm paying money for this shit. I don't know, man. And, and Norway has become a major now. Look at this shit. Now we need to take Norway out. We have taken United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Turkey, India, and then Norway. We, we have taken the eight majors for this fucking war. Well, at least we have supply now, so we can push. And our naval invasions are launching. There we go, we are pushing. And like, they, they don't really have divisions in their lands. So I'm just ch keep checking, keep checking if there's any new majors, but thankfully there is not. So <laughs> the war is over and uh, we can annex most of it. But as you can see, Japan has 15% war score, so we can't annex everything because nothing is that easy in this game, you know? So I'm trying to take all the land that I can get. And uh, Japan is really giving me problems here. Like take, 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 and they just like they focused on Yan Mayan. Why are you so insisting on Yan Mayan? Why do you want Yan Mayan, Japan? It's a tiny fucking island in Europe. Why do you want Yan Mayan so much? I don't get it, man. Like, give it a go. Let it go. Let it go. No, I, I, they can't let go. They can't. Like, at this point, I was losing my fucking mind. Let it go, dude. Yeah, I, I was at this point, I was like, okay, the game is taking a piss. Like, is it bugged? Are we going to do this forever? And thankfully, it wasn't forever, so... <laughs> yeah, as, as you can see, the, the the way that I'm taking the ships, I, I was, I've lost my mind at this point, so... And they have a free India, why not? Because instead of giving me the land, they have a free fucking India, so... So at this point, there is the common turn, there is Japan, and there are other smaller nations. So we need to take Spain, we need to take Portugal, and uh, we need to release United Kingdom, as you can believe it, because uh, we are going to fight the common turn and they control Brandenburg. So I thought maybe if we kill this Germany, 
we can get the achievement. So I'm naming my faction this achievement sucks. And maybe if we take this Germany out with UK in my faction, we can actually war win the war. So we have taken Portugal and we get our second achievement today. Or is it this is this the third one? I'm not sure. So and we are ready to take uh, combo turn out, I thought. So we declare war. And as it turns out, we weren't ready. Because they are actually pushing. So the problem is, they have way too many divisions. As you can see, we are pushing in Caucasus, but in Europe, we have a big problem. And a big fucking problem, because like Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Germany, they are all pushing. Bulgaria has cut off from Turkey, and they have navally invaded us. I don't know how they navally invaded us, because we, we, we have the Bosphorus, but maybe they had a little island or something. So we are pushing from the Caucasus, so I just said, okay, maybe we can capitulate them from the Caucasus. We don't need to push from uh, Europe necessarily, you know. So I'm building up uh, in the Caucasus because the region sucks when it comes to supply. And I've checked their manpower and their factory. So they have 1,207 factories and 635 divisions. So we need more divisions, <laughs> basically a lot more divisions. Yeah, this is lost, just retreat, because they're going to get uh, captured and encircled. Yeah, Europe is basically lost at this point, but uh, maybe we can just push from the Caucasus and win the war. So, Soviets are actually really dumb in this game, because they don't, they don't say, Oh, wait, we are losing the game, because they are, like, I'm not losing course, and they are. So, they need, they need to defend their uh, they need to defend their lands they also need to conquer us but first and foremost they need to defend their lands and they have zero manpower now with uh, all so with zero manpower how can soviets actually defend against us they can't so i'm building up and we are pushing so at this point, I was really relaxed. Like I said, okay, we have this, no problem. We have Sevastopol and uh, Crimea, and we can continue pushing north. Also, if you have watched until this time, could you just like the video and hit the subscribe button, like really quick. It takes like one second and it doesn't cost you anything, so just one click. Like how we clicked uh, Moscow and capitulated Soviet Union. So now I want to annex everything and because why not, Japan is at war against them, but yeah, we took uh, almost everything, thankfully. So now what do we need to do? Yeah, we haven't get we, we didn't get the achievement for the for some reason. I don't know. It says Germany hasn't capitulated. Well, China has capitulated uh, and Japan wins the war actually. I don't know how that happened in 1950 fucking 2, but yeah, they have won the war finally. And uh, basically I'm conquering all the smaller uh, countries at this point. I don't need to show you everything. You know how it goes. And it takes a really long time with uh, a communist nation. When you're not fascist, uh, it's, it takes a really long time to... It takes 125 days to um, justify a war goal to any country, basically. So I'm waiting for China to take other warlord lands in... Well, basically waiting for Japan to take the other Chinese lands. I'm annexing Britain. But we're not done with Britain. I have one more uh, try to go with them. So we are going to take Siam. 
And then finally we can take Japan. Siam is gone. Let's prepare for Japan and attack them. Naval invasions are a go. We have landed and let's just uh, conquer Japan really quick. Yeah, they have thought about defending their island instead of Yan Mayan. And we have control of every state in the world. Now, three more achievements we have, so I'm going to release Argentina. And I'm going to release Uruguay as my puppet. And justify a war goal on Argentina. Put my divisions, then declare war. And... We get another achievement. Pretty easy. Now we need to... Yeah, we are, I'm going to remove all the buildings in Wales, basically. And I said, okay, let's give it one more try. Let's release Germany. And let's release United Kingdom as my puppet. And since we still have our faction, I can still try to capitulate Germany and get the achievements. We capitulated them, we annex everything, and we didn't get the achievements. I've conquered Germany, I think, five times, but uh, yeah, no achievement for me. So I, th I said, okay, I'll, I'll try it. In the next save, I guess. So I'm deleting all the buildings in Wales at this point. Because we are going to take Wales. And for some reason, it doesn't require me to wait 30 days to remove the buildings. So I'm, I'm going to remove all the buildings in Wales. So we have one more achievement to go. We release Wales. And we release this country and we click play as so now we are playing as why vladishivka gimereik nailed it so what we need to do we need to switch to communism of course i'm just taking my text yeah we have transports we have uh, do we have submarines yes we do do we have torpedoes yes we do so we don't need any research Political effort is complete. We go down the political tree. We hire the demagogue or whatever. Communist ethos is complete. And now we are going to have a civil war. Let's train some cavalry divisions. Turns out we just needed one, but yeah. So we can actually get an aggression pact with my former nation, Brazil. Military access, and we can join their faction. Or my faction. Let's accept all of them and accept this. So now we can call them in to our civil war. And they can win the civil war for us. So at this point I was really worried because I couldn't take my lands, but thankfully they have given the land back to me. So that's pretty cool. And now we need to take Wales out. We justify a war goal. Our war goal is complete. Let's declare war. And since they have nothing on their island. And we have a pretty big ally. We can just ask for guns and ask for convoys. And they have given us. And now we need a ship 
We have our division. And let's prepare a naval invasion from Britain to Wales. To Cardiff. So let's complete naval effort. That will give us some dockyards. And that's all that we need. And we are going to make some submarines. Add a torpedo and produce the submarine. And after we have our submarine, we choose it and make it a patrol. Wait for it to come. There it is. Our naval engine is launching. And we have our achievement. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have liked this video. And uh, what would you like to see next? Because I haven't started a new save yet. So uh, I'll see you on the next one I guess. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.